Okay, grade two, let's get started with our phonics. So what you are going to need for this <coughs> activity <coughs> is per one and per two. <coughs> now the first thing we do, you'll see there's a nice big block there at the top. You can just write your name in there. No need to flip it over. Let's just write our names there at the top. Okay. These papers are pretty straightforward, but I just wanted to run through them with you and read them with you. So it says complete the sentence, and then our phonics were, um, sound is nice and big in the circle. Say the sound at home out loud. W. Very good. W. Okay? Even though there's a h, we don't say w or... Uh, wait, there was something on Family Guy where they said whoop. Oh, they made like a whoop sound. It's not a wh sound, it's w. okay? It's just a normal w sound, but there are some words that start only with the w, and then there are some words that start with a w h. We are dealing with our w h words. So, first one they give us is wheel, wheat, whale, whisk, and white. Good. Now, number one. Farmer Bob has a field full of what? Which one of these things could you grow? Choose the word. Does he have a field full of wheel? Does he have a field full of wheat? Does he have a field full of whale? Does he have a field full of whisk? Or does he have a field full of white? Which one of these things would a farmer grow? Write the answer in there. Number two, do you like black or mm, cats best? Do you like black or wheel cats best? Do you like black or wheat cats best? Do you like black or whale cats best? Do you like black or whisk cats best? Or do you like black and white? Black or white cats best? Number three, we went on the ferris mm, at the fair. Which one of the words at the top could you fill in there to make the sentence make the most sense? We went on the ferris, mm, at the fair. Number four, I can mm the batter for the cake. What do you do with the batter of a cake before you start baking? I can mm the batter for the cake. Choose one of these words that's going to make the sentence the most true. And then number five, remember to pause if you're not finished. I know I'm going quickly. Number five, the mm has a blowhole to breathe air. So this thing has a blow blowhole where it shoots water out to breathe air. <sighs> Good. We are moving on to P2. Easy peasy word search. Okay. Um, we have the word whisk, whale, white, wet. Wet is something you do when you sharpen a knife. Okay. Wool, wharf. A wharf is um, like a dock basically for a boat where you stand on before you get onto the boat. Wheel, whip, whinge. Whinge, I'm, I'm guessing, is almost like whine, like when you cry the whole time or, or complain. Whinge, I'm guessing that's the same thing. Way, porridge and way. I'm also thinking that's a type of, I don't know what, really what way is, but in, what is that? Something, something. Eating her porridge and way. Eating his porridge in a way. There's a rhyme about it. Something like, man, I know this rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her porridge in a way. Something like that, okay? It's a part of a poem, that's how I know it. Wheat and why. You have to go look for these words in the word search. Um, so far, all of the words that I can see are from left to right. So whisk, um, yes, whisk is left to right. You can find that. 
you can pause the video to find it or you can just listen through um, first and then you can go ahead and go find all of the words. Whale. Whale. Um, whale is also left to right. White. White. White is also left to right. Wet. Were it wet. This one is from top to bottom. Whirl. Whirl is left to right. Wharf. I saw it earlier. Wharf. Where's Wharf? <clears throat> Why can't I find it? If you guys have found it already and you're just waiting for me, I'm sorry. But, oh, oh, it's also from left to right. Wheel also left to right, whip, whip, um, so so far we've had left to right, top to bottom, this is also left to right, whinge, also left to right, way, top to bottom, wheat, top to bottom, and y, top to bottom, so the word you're looking for can go left to right, or top to bottom, I know I ran through these two worksheets very quickly, but they are very self-explanatory, grade two, you can do these by yourself. So go color the pictures when you're finished. Take your time. Please don't rush this activity. Um, and then you'll hear from me in our um, grammar video about homonyms.